Hi, I'm Leah Carey, and this is the Good Girls Talk About Sex video series. Today, I want to talk about um, what it was like to experience desire coming from another person in a really unexpected situation in a way that I had never imagined it before. So I belong to this group called Sex Positive Portland that puts on lots of events. Um, some of them are educational, purely educational, no touch, no nudity. Um, they're just about how to do the things that I talk to you about here on, on the series. Um, and then some of the events are actual events, <laughs> like people take their clothes off and, and things happen. Um, so in this, I think it was actually the very first event event that I went to where there was um, an exercise called the statue garden or the, the art garden, something like that, where they divided us into two groups. One half of the class put on blindfolds. I was in that group. And we took off as much clothing as we were comfortable with. So this was my very first event and they are all about consent. So I decided that I was not going to, to go all the way, the way that some of the other people in the room were and they got fully naked. I took off my top and I took off my bra because I'm okay with the top half of my body. It's the bottom half of my body that has always caused me some agitation. So I took off my top and I put the blindfold on. Then the other half of the class was welcomed in to admire us as statues. And that admiration was both looking and touching. So I'm standing there naked or half naked, believing that no one could possibly find my body particularly attractive. That was the, the story I had lived with for so much of my life. And especially the bottom half of my body, because that was the part that had always given me such trauma. What I discovered was that while I was blindfolded, all of these people came around the room and were touching my stomach and my legs. They were also touching the upper half of my body. It's not like everyone was concentrated in that area, but there was as much attention being paid to my stomach and my legs as there was to my breasts and my neck and you know the parts that were more exposed. And as this went on, it occurred to me that there was absolutely no reason for people to be paying attention to those parts of my body unless they were genuinely interested in them. I was blindfolded. It wasn't like they were doing it because they thought it would make me happy. They didn't know that I had those issues, so it wasn't like they were doing it in order to help me get over my issues. The only reason there was, was because they were genuinely interested in my body, exactly the way that it showed up on that day. It caused me to begin rethinking the stories that I was telling myself about how, uh, how attractive I was, how desirable I was, because there were two stories. There was my story that I was fat, ugly, unlovable, undesirable. And then there was their story that I was desirable enough for them to come around and touch and worship my body. For no, It's not like they were getting sex out of it. They were simply interested in my body exactly the way it showed up on that day. Only one of those stories could be true. Either I was fat and ugly and undesirable, my story, or there was something else going on, their story. And the truth was there were more of them than there were of me. So I had to at least entertain the possibility that maybe they were more correct than I was.
So I'd love to know what this makes you think. Does this scare the living bejesus out of you or does it make you kind of interested to know what this experience would be like? Head down to the comments. I would love to hear what you're thinking about this idea of how other people see your body versus how you see your body. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell so that you get notified when new videos come out. I look forward to talking to you soon. And until then, here's to your great sex life.